a new ozone layer hole has opened above the Arctic, and it looks set to become the largest on record. A new ozone layer hole has opened above the Arctic, and it looks set to become the largest on record. Maps of the Arctic from NASA's Ozone Watch, created with satellite data, shows the hole is getting to grow in size from late last year till now. The ozone layer hole looks all set to break up the following weeks, but not before setting a record in ozone layer depletion at the North Pole. From my point of view, this is the first time you can speak about a real ozone hole in the Arctic, Martin Damaris. An atmospheric scientist at the German Aerospace Center told Nature, the ozone layer is a protective shield of the Earth atmosphere which absorbs the ultraviolet radiation reaching us from the sun. Without the ozone layer, it would be practically impossible for anything or anyone to survive on the planet. In Antarctica, the density of the ozone changes with the season. The frosty winters lead to high-altitude clouds mixing with ozone-damaging chlorofluorocarbons CFCs, that have been waiting in the atmosphere for years to thin out the layer. The North Pole region is different, where the climate is typically warmer and does not create high-altitude clouds. This year, surprisingly cold temperatures and powerful winds formed a polar vortex in the Arctic, creating the chilly conditions that have led to vast ozone depletion, about three times the size of Greenland. In March, weather balloons were sent up by researchers in the Arctic and reported a 90% drop in ozone at the layer's core. Scientists are waiting and expecting to see what happens next but it seems the new ozone layer depletion in the Arctic will exceed smaller holes recorded in 1997 and 2011. Marcus Rex, an atmospheric scientist at the Alfred Wegener Institute in Germany, told Nature that the Arctic ozone hole did not endanger human health but over the next month there was a chance it might drift over to more populated areas. In that case, he suggested more sunscreen. Weakening of the ozone layer opens us to more ultraviolet radiation from the sun, raising the likelihood of sunburn and skin cancer. Last month there was good news for the ozone layer when a research found that. The hole in the southern hemisphere had significantly narrowed due to a 1987 international treaty. The Montreal Protocol, which banned the use of CFCs. Antara Banerjee, a CIRES visiting fellow at the University of Colorado Boulder who also works at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, led the research. The emissions of ozone-depleting substances that were responsible for the ozone hole, the CFCs from spray cans and refrigerants, started to decline around 2000, thanks to the Montreal Protocol.